you are worth the quiet moment you are worth the deeper breath you are worth the time it takes to slow down be still and rest namaskar my dear friends i am very much grateful to all of you for the love and affection you have given me and encouragement you guys have given me for the previous episodes today when i talk of you i am talking about a mental illness called personality disorder a friend of mine did suggest me that i call it not a personality disorder but a normal disorder and it is to some extent it is correct personality disorder can be a normal disorder present in our day to day life and at the same time it can be a disease as in this series i am strictly interested in telling the common man's problem in a common man's voice i would not like to touch the personality disorders like a bipolar disorder a schizophrenia or a schizophrenic person's personality and all those things i don't want to talk that we'll talk that later today what i want to talk is normal personality problems due to a compromised mental health state that to some extent disturbs our day to day activity before doing that we must understand what a personal health is personal health is the ability to take charge of your health by making conscious decisions to be healthy it not only refers to the physical well-being of an individual but it also comprises the wellness of emotional intellect social economical spiritual and other areas taking a conscious decision about certain things that will give you emotional happiness emotional stability financial well-being social reputation or spiritual enlightenment is definitely a part of our personal health more of our it is a part of our personal mental health we always think that it is only in the post retirement age that a person should think about spirituality a person of your and my age should not be into spirituality because it's a thing for the old similarly a person of your and my age will have a thinking that i must earn as much as i can to make myself stable in the society to get reputations uh which can be a monetary reputation in the society big car big house big post all these things and another person a person a bit younger than us needs someone to understand their emotion all these things are not age restricted these are all interconnected a person who is spiritually awakened or spiritually aware of what is happening in and around him will have a clearer vision about how he should be living his life in the society 
and at the same time he will be having a broader prospectus of economical earning because his vision will be clear his vision will be pure therefore being emotionally right being financially right being socially right being spiritually right are all important in every aspect in every moment of our life and all these are connected with our personality with our mental strength with our thinking that is going on in our head Emilia Barr had once said it is only in sorrow bad weather masters us in joy we face it we face the storm and defy it therefore what she means is that when you are down when your personality when your mental state is in a state of weakness that is the time when the storm of depression anxiety rejection succumbing uh, suicide and all these take a predominance over you but the same situation if comes before you same challenging situation if comes before you when you are excited in an ecstatic mood or in a joyous mood you will have the vibes to fight it out it is same person who succumbed to a storm and now that same person is defying that storm because he is happy mentally he is in a peaceful state so from where does this come this comes from your personality do everything possible try to stay positive show gratitude show compassion be gentle with yourself remind yourself that you are needed here and that is what a bold personality means if your personality fails to analyze your activities fails to analyze the things happening around you you will fall into a trap don't compare yourself to others not on facebook not on instagram not in the magazines not in real life trust me we will go through dark days we all feel this way you are not alone you are not falling behind i see many youth nowadays they compare about how many followers you have in instagram or how many followers you are having in twitter and and they start putting up various orders and all what's that follower thing does that really matter how many followers what does matter is how many genuine followers are there how many of them are genuinely following your activity and you should be genuinely working for them this knowledge this differentiation comes from your personality many people in different situations behave differently i in one situation may feel like running away from that and the same me who appeared at that situation as a very um, fearful person fearlessly fights out another situation because then i know that this is my forte what mental health needs is more sunlight more candor more unashamed conversation 
I have been stressing on the aspect of conversation in my entire series just because as long as we are not conversing with ourselves as long as we are not conversing with our friends with our parents with our family we are not churning our head we are not churning the emotional intellectual power that is there in our head or in our personality it is only when we rub the stones that fire kindles at the same time the finer we cut the diamond the more costlier or the more glazeful it becomes similarly the more you discuss the more you expose yourself the better you become personality disorder is something like that my dark days make me strong or maybe already i was strong but the dark days proved it to me we all know this thing what does it mean the personal trait of being fearful or fearless is there all within ourselves but what we need is to find it out we need to give that stimulus that trigger we need to know that trigger that will tell us that these are the moments when you are fearful and these are the moments when you are fearless then from the fearless moments you will need to imbibe the traits to overcome the fearful moments and at the same time from the fearful moments you will imbibe some lessons to be careful in the fear less moments personality is a double edged sword we all have a personality at home and at work or outside everybody has this remember but a balanced personality is that which smoothly shifts gears from home to work and work to home health isn't just about what we eat it is about what we think what we feel and personality is all about how we deal with it giving up easily can be a personality problem which needs to be overcome similarly jumping into everything can be a dangerous thing again it is a personality problem which needs to be controlled therefore what i mean to say is you need to realize that there is something called personality which is to some extent dependent on your mental well being as i said when you start comparing your life with others always compare the positives and negatives but what we do we just compare the negatives we don't compare the positives and there our personality fails there our personality challenges us i fear from that day when i look into the mirror and my eyes cannot match my eyes that is when i know i have failed as a person i have failed my personality give yourself permission to unplug and regroup without feeling guilty you can't be there for others when you are not there for yourself 
some people have a personality of helping each and every one they can't say no easily that is also a problem that is also a personal problem you keep feeling guilty that oh i said that person no and then he f- went into all these problems etc but remember if you had not told that person no then probably that person would never have learned how to get up after falling now that person is more strong he can he fears not of falling down rather he is more confident getting up but your personality will give you a guilt conscience this this guilt consciousness is certainly a trait in our personality that affects our well-being it affects our interaction with other people therefore in between goals a uh, there is a thing called life that has to be lived and enjoyed we need to live our life we don't need to run after it we need to live it to live it it is important that you take one thing at a time it is important that you understand what your mental health what your personality is and what your personality can be personality disorder as i said can be discussed in various forms but today i was giving sort of an introduction to this personality disorder with of course as i said uh insight to what we should be looking at what we should be fearing about at the end while concluding i would like to tell one thing give you a task after hearing this just go sit before a mirror mirror my dear friends mirror is a very 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 important aspect of our life and mirror is something that introduces ourselves to the real we a mirror is something that tells us what is right and what is wrong without fearing of our reaction therefore sit before a mirror analyze those moments of fear analyze those moments of galor valor analyze all those moments and then try and find out where you are strong where you are weak why you are strong why you are weak and in opposite situations apply the derivations of this i mean when you are fearful about something think about those things that you are good at when you are overconfident when you are fearless about something think about those moments that you were afraid of be grounded at the end i would like to give you an advice from a tree's point of view stand tall and proud go out on a limb remember your roots drink plenty of water be content with your natural beauty enjoy the view 
enjoy your personality enjoy your life not others life thank you